35 miles up, you can see the curvature of the Earth, you can see the thickness of the atmosphere, and you can see all this with a 50 pound camera you launch from your garden. It's relatively straightforward, it's not... I mean... That's what Robert Harrison did, and the results were so impressive, he got a call from NASA. They had some interest in how do you take these pictures. If, if we had to take these sort of pictures, it would cost lots of money. But launching his homemade rocket from his Huddersfield home only cost Robert a couple of hundred pounds. He simply attached a cheap camera and a tracking device to a weather balloon, sent it up, and then monitored its position from his desk at home. Point and click camera from Canon, Yeah. 50 quid from eBay. Um, let's put that over there. And we've got in here we've got the uh, tracking device, quite a simple uh, circuit board. It's got a GPS sat nav on it. The information from there gets transmitted into the into the little microprocessor on there. This information here is the latitude, longitude, and altitude. That information gets converted into binary ones and zeros uh -huh. using these two resistors, and it's fed into the into the uh, radio here to be transmitted. Yeah. OK, so not everyone can install GPS transmitters or read binary, but Robert is an example to garden shed inventors everywhere. When it comes to hobbies, not even the sky's the limit.